Hi, Intuitive D, 1111 here, Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. Thank you guys for, um, for, you know, giving me some time. I appreciate that. Let's see what it is that you guys need to know. Um, and if you do want to win a mini reading, all you have to do is like a recent video that you enjoy, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Okay? Baby says yes. <laughs> um, and did I already say that I had the, um, the winners posted on the community tab for last month? So you could check that out. All right. So what do we have here? All right. We have fallen in love with you. So somebody fell in love with you here. Somebody's in love with you. Maybe somebody wants um, to take things to the next level with you. This is somebody that's really been thinking about y'all in your fan club here. Move this out the way. Okay, and then we have, what is this? What is this? And then we have Coward here. So, I don't know. I feel like maybe somebody was afraid of the emotions that they have for you or they were afraid of telling you how they feel. Maybe somebody took the easy way out in dealing with a third party situation and they're and they're going to be starting to realize that was a mistake or they're already realizing that here. What else do we have here? We have attached. It says getting to know one another more, getting closer to each other. So if this isn't the energy that's here for you guys, this is the energy that's coming in. Um, but you definitely have somebody here from the past that is still... Um, in love with you guys but I feel like for some of you guys you already have somebody around you that you've been getting to know that maybe somebody doesn't want to express their feelings because yet again we have hidden feelings I don't want you to know how much I like you just yet so somebody here could be trying to play coy it says um, leaving their partner here <sighs> so if somebody was dealing with a third party I feel like there's there's some type of situation with whoever it is that they were dealing with. So some of you guys, they've already disconnected from this person or I don't know if they thought, you know, leaving your situation, they were going to have some type of bliss with a third party. I feel like somebody is realizing that's not what it is. Okay. Yeah, somebody, somebody is thinking about how to... <sighs> how to exit out of a situation here I don't know we have I plan to make a move on you soon and I can't resist you anymore here so somebody maybe it was unexpected I don't know but whatever this energy is here someone has a lot of regrets for their past behavior and they're thinking about how they can um I don't know something about messages or calls not getting through so I don't know if somebody is blocked or I don't know if um, somebody has been trying to reach out from a different number okay I don't know I don't know what's going on with y'all let's see we have <laughs> yeah, we have desire over here and then we have hook it up as well okay so it looks like some of y'all definitely have some plans or this is what's already been happening or what's going on here. Tell me more for the collective. <laughs> okay, I said, it says, I know it's taken me a long time to change, but I know now is the time to. So somebody wants to change here. Somebody could have felt like they were out of control in the way that they treated you or the way that they acted towards you. I feel like somebody struggles to be alone. This could very well be somebody. Um, there's multiple energies here. I do feel like there is an energy of somebody that is, this is giving me like emperor, empress energy, right? Somebody that has themselves together or they're working towards that, right? This could be somebody um, that's in some type of leadership position as well. And then you have another energy here that I feel um, struggles to be alone and they're just constantly attaching themselves to different people because they like attention here. So take it as it resonates. What else is coming towards the collective here? 
it says i've been having dreams that me and you will talk again here so yeah somebody here wants to reach out somebody misses your voice here somebody could feel very insecure as well somebody could have been dealing with someone that was condescending or was doing different things to try to stir up insecurity within them whatever it is here i feel like somebody yeah, we have sweet conversation here. So somebody wants to clear the air. There's some type of conversation that they want to have towards you. This person feels very compatible when it comes to you. This is somebody with excited here. I feel like somebody is is hiding the fact that they still want you, that they're excited to be with you or see you again um, or to meet with you or spend time with you here. What else for the collective? Yeah, we have date plans here and then we have scent. It says, I love the colognes or perfumes that you wear. So scent is very important, <laughs> I guess. Um, or there's just some type of memories that are associated to scent here. And then we have date plans. So it's like, yeah, some of y'all got some plans coming up. And I feel like there was somebody else in the mix that was doing too much with whoever else they could have, you know, stopped talking to you for or went towards or went back towards. And whoever they're dealing with knows that this person um, is is in love with you or cares about you. So there, there's a whole bunch of drama within that situation as well. For some of you, someone could be nervous to come towards you because they really feel like they fucked up. They really feel like they, drop, they dropped the ball when it came to your connection. But we have, I believe me and you do have a faded connection here. And it says, I will do anything not to lose this connection with you here. So, yeah, this is definitely somebody um, Somebody in this mix doesn't want, they don't want things to be over. So, yeah, we have over here, y'all not playing. Somebody got, someone has plans for y'all. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm seeing. All right, I like it. What else? Let's see what else y'all need to know. <sighs> Tell me more for the collective, please. What do they need to know? Moving out of love and life from their heart from the divine. All right, so we have less chill seduction and temptations we have unrequited feelings here and then we have tired of pulling teeth i feel like somebody gave into temptation with somebody that they were hanging out with only to realize that um that person that they went towards that they chose really has been dealing with somebody else here and somebody is tired of trying to make things work within some type of connection here. Tell me more. Yeah, we do have um, a love at first sight here. We have social media drama here. So it's like somebody could be heavily watching you I don't know if it's this person, definitely whoever they're connected to here. It's like somebody is trying to keep up and see what it is that you have going on with you. And then we have being too aggressive here. So I don't know. Somebody is regretting their actions, whether they were aggressive towards you or whether somebody got into it with a third party here. Tell me more. And then we have getting your piece of the pie here. And then we have can't stop my flow. So overall energy is pretty much, I feel like you guys are just doing your own thing right now. Um, I definitely feel like there is somebody that wants to spend time with you. But for some of you guys, it's, it's an energy of someone you were dealing with, dealing with somebody that really doesn't care about them or somebody really not not messing around with them like somebody really could have just went towards somebody that is um that they were attracted to but they're realizing that there was nothing else really there that that person really 
didn't care about them or doesn't care about them, I feel like you guys just sit back and you just kind of see things unfold. Because I feel, I feel what this energy is. Somebody could be very attractive or very charming here, but somebody was giving an offer to the wrong people. That's what I'm seeing here. So now they're in some type of situation where um, now they're starting to realize that whatever type of arrogant attitude that they had or whether or not some of you guys that they had an SEX addiction or they were giving into, um, you know, just constantly giving into temptation. This is like somebody not taking the time to heal. They're just going from partner to partner here. Um, or there was one main person that they were dealing with over here. And it looks like they still wrapped up in that situation, but that person, the person ain't really dealing with them like that. Tell me more. I feel like somebody could realize that somebody was talking to their friend or somebody that they actually know. Maybe somebody that um, they used to, I don't know, like if it's a setting where people were maybe like having drinks, like at the bar, or at the club, whatever. Like if there was like a setting where there were key people that were normally seen here, I feel like somebody is realizing or they're going to realize that the person that they went towards has been messing around with either a friend or an acquaintance or somebody that they know here <sighs> so yet again it's about to be some drama in karmicville and somebody really gonna be saying goodbye to karmisha or kwan here or they're being encouraged to here take it as it resonates what else yeah, we have over here, it says your ex is cock blocking here. And then we have party with me. Nah, hell no. Nah. What kind of energy is this here? <sighs> I feel like there is somebody that you guys could grow with and have expansion with. But whatever I'm seeing here is that somebody here, they're just interested in partying. Okay, they're just interested in, um, I don't know, it's like somebody is, is playing a role, but, it, but in reality, they're not serious about a situation here at all. They're not. Somebody could have lost emotions as well for somebody that they were dealing with. <sighs> what else? Yeah, it's like somebody could very well want to come towards y'all here. But I feel like there could be multiple people that need to take accountability within the situation here. But somebody just wants to play around here. Or this is what they're dealing with. They're dealing with somebody that likes to party, that likes to drink, that likes to hook up with different people. Um, they think they're being slick with it. Okay, for some of you guys, this could be a female energy as well. Okay, someone could be... Um, Somebody could be uh, Hispanic as well. Like, that. yeah, this person, somebody is not really caring about somebody or not really fucking with them. It's just like they're using them for the time being is what I'm getting. Or somebody is realizing, uh, it's like someone realizing that they picked a shallow choice. And it's like they, they're going to want to circle back or they are going to want to um, reach out to you because they're realizing that whoever it is that they were dealing with yeah, it might have been fun, but it's not anything serious. Or they invested too much into the wrong situation here. Tell me more. What does the collective need to know? Yeah, the devil card in reverse here. I feel like you guys are breaking free. The devil card in reverse is like defeating the devil here. So someone here definitely could be um, wanting to change different toxic patterns that they've noticed within themselves or the people that they've been around here. It's like someone is breaking free from some type of um, partnership. And it looks like it was fueled with a lot of, a lot of lust. That's what I'm seeing here. What else? Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords here. So definitely some type of lies or some type of betrayal here. Or somebody is regretting going after their impulses. Tell me more. Yep, page of wands. 
And it's like now somebody wants to reach out. They want to have some type of communication here. And they want to communicate with this star energy. <laughs> oh, y'all. So it looks like somebody is realizing what led to some type of ending here. Okay. Somebody wants to reach out. They want to communicate. Somebody could have been childish or immature as well, or somebody is regretting some type of quick action that they took. Someone wants to heal things. Someone is encouraged to work on their healing here. But you see the way that she's facing? She's facing this way here. So I feel like somebody just wants to put a lot of different things from the past, like in the past, and they just want to move forward. That's what I'm seeing here. Tell me more. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles here. And then we have the lover's card. Gemini energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarian energy. Tell me more. We have the Fool. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords here. So somebody feels like they can't get through to you. They feel like they can't reach you here. Somebody's regretting some type of fallout situation. Somebody had a choice in love. And I feel like whatever choice somebody took... They're realizing or they're going to realize that that person betrayed them, okay? This is someone also watching your love life, trying to see what it is that you have going on. What is going on here? What's the devil card reversed? Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands reverse here. And we got the Seven of Pentacles. So this is what I'm talking about. This is, this is, um, if the Queen of Wands reverse is, <coughs> pardon me, because energies could be masculine or feminine, even if it says queen, right? That's for instance, if this is a masculine energy, this could be a masculine energy that, um, has been sleeping around here or is not really feeling confident within. So what they like to do is they like for people to chase them. Okay. They like for people to come after them. I feel like somebody is releasing that situation here or somebody is releasing someone that they're realizing has been out there doing the most with God knows who that's what I'm seeing. With the ten of swords. Tell me about the ten of swords here. Yeah, and that's the truth here. So there's some type of ending to a painful cy uh, cycle, and then there's a new beginning that's coming in for somebody here. And there's victory and success as well, because somebody is cutting out um, an energy that they're realizing uh, doesn't really have much to offer with this page of pentacles here. It's like somebody could offer a good time, but that's pretty much it. So somebody also wants to speak their truth after some type of ending. Someone has had some form of revelation. Okay. What's the lover's card? Yeah, the four of swords here. So somebody definitely feels like they on a break with y'all here. They do. Somebody could be healing as well. I feel like somebody's on a break from somebody that they very well could have... Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, right? This is the most abundant card in the deck. So somebody is seeing that they could have had everything with you. But they very well could have let other people get in the way. They definitely gave into temptation here. Or they were reckless with their actions. Somebody could have been... You know, somebody could have been petty as well. Somebody is regretting what they said, regretting what they did here. Tell me more. What's this page of pentacles? Five of swords here. Yeah, it's like somebody is realizing that somebody was playing mind games or somebody was sabotaging a connection here. Or this was somebody that was playing mind games with multiple different people for different reasons. Okay, be it for intimacy or be it for money. I feel somebody is moving on from that situation with the chariot card and they're going to find success and they're going to see more abundance flowing in now that they're releasing some type of, uh, some type of energy that connects with many other energies. Yeah. 
And as somebody does that, they're stepping into their emperor or their empress energy. There's going to be growth and there's going to be expansion as well. Somebody could be moving on from a situation with the Page of Pentacles. That's a younger energy. The Queen of Wands is a promiscuous energy. Someone could be moving on from that energy. And they could be stepping, going forward towards a more mature connection or with somebody that's more mature. Or we also have somebody that could be, you know, pregnant up in the mix with the Empress card as well. Tell me about the Page of Wands, please, for the collective. Yeah, we have the Ace, we have the Ace of Cups here. So this is the energy of somebody wanting to, and then we got the Queen of Pentacles again. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So somebody wants to bring a love offer to someone that they feel is solid, to somebody that they feel is, um, the Queen of Pentacles is very different from the Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that is stable, um, is somebody that's grounded, um, is definitely not the energy of somebody that would be sleeping around, okay? So somebody wants to come in with some type of love offer. That's what I'm seeing here. But somebody feels like they were being a fool in the past. Tell me about the fool card. Yeah, and now somebody wants to heal here. You guys are master manifestors. You're master alchemists, okay? I feel like you've turned a lot of negative situations into something positive. You just continue to move forward here. Yeah, you guys got quite a few different people that um, are curious about you or that want to. Um, you definitely have somebody here that has emotions for you. Or for some of you guys, this could even be you guys giving some somebody some type of love offer. Take as as it resonates, right? Because there's feminine and masculine energies that's that's watching. So I feel like the love offer is going towards somebody that. Um, with the six of wands that could have some type of uh, following that's very successful. This could also be some type of success and recognition coming in with someone getting a new job as well. That's here. Um, somebody is definitely heavily protected here. And someone realizes that they gave an offer to someone in the past that really only wanted attention. They just wanted attention from multiple other energies. So somebody's cutting that energy out here. So there's a lot of success that's coming in for y'all. What's the star card here, please? Tell me about the star card. Yeah, we have the nine of cups here. So there's some type of wish fulfillment that's coming in for you guys. And a lot of this is from um, you guys clearing your energy here. Yeah, we have the page of swords, but it's like somebody is still trying to see what it is that you guys have going on. So I don't know if somebody is watching you guys online or trying to get information about you through different people tell me more with the queen of pentacles please yeah we got the ten of cups here damn and we have the empress so it's like somebody is going through some type of level up based on their partnership here someone partners together with the right person not only are they going to get emotional fulfillment but they're also going to have growth and expansion. Especially with their finances here. So this is a lot of happiness that's coming in with you guys here. That's what I'm seeing. So I love that for y'all. Tell me more. I can't make it up. Listen, a financial increase is on the horizon. Bam. Yeah, it says better now than never here. So continue to, you know, put momentum towards, you know, things that can lead to a financial opportunity. Commit to yourself first here. Because I do feel like somebody could want to pull on your heartstrings here. Or, you know, somebody might want to apologize, you know, for whoever it is that they were dealing with or whatever the situation that popped off. <clears throat> I feel like you guys are being being guided to, um, you know, to, to, to attract energies that are 
more stable. That's what I'm seeing here. That's what you're bringing in. Because that is what's going to have um, a continued positive effect on, on your finances and on moving forward and your overall well-being. I mean, we got the Ace of Swords and we got the Ace of Cups. Wow. Some of you guys, that's like a new contract here. Some of you, it could even be a new home. What else? Yeah, you deserve to be spoiled here. So I feel like maybe somebody that was breadcrumbing in the past, now somebody is feel, is realizing that that you deserve to be spoiled, you deserve to be treated right. Yeah. And I feel like you guys are already seeing with this inconsistent actions, this is this Queen of Wands reverse over here. Um that somebody just wanted to play around here. Yeah. That cycle is complete with that person that just wanted to play around or wanted to act like they had emotions, but in reality they had, you know, other people in the background that they were drinking with or getting drunk and going home with. Who is this? <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. Yeah, just know that minor progress is still movement here. Okay? Pardon me, I had to check on the baby for a second. But yeah, just know that your light is irritating a lot of demons right now. So put me some hearts down below. Put me some champagne glasses. Put me some swords down below. I love you guys. Namaste.